Hi everyone there. We are going to configure static IP address on your tiny code Linux and make it permanent. The first step we are going to do is uh, create a script file with all our configuration. We are going to keep it on the OPT. Let's name that file as eth0.sh. I am using VA editor, Vim editor. You can get this uh, script file uh, from the link which will point to my website and uh, you will have the script file there. The first step is uh, we are basically uh, killing the DHCP service and then configuring the IP address. Depending upon your network you can um, set a different IP address here. The end you need to uh, mention up don't forget that and then let's add a route to default gateway in my case is 172.21.254 I'm going to give a uh, browsing access so the tiny code Linux is going to reach internet um, that's why I need to add a name server here if you don't want that you can just skip this uh, if you don't want to uh, give internet access to this tiny code Linux. It's done. We are saving it. Cool. Let's uh, view the content once again just to make sure that we haven't done any mistake. Yeah, it's all good. Looks good. Okay, the next step is uh, we need to give permission for this file great and then you need to write this file to the uh, boot files of uh, tiny code linux because tiny code linux usually uh, you know runs from the ram system ram so when you reboot uh, all the changes are lost so you need to write this script to be executed on the You know, this is one way of writing the, um, you know, a script file on the opt boot local dot sh file. You can even use a Vim editor and then go to the sh script file, these two files, and then add these two entries at the end. You can still do that. At the end, you need to. need to just uh, save the configuration don't need that it's done let's reboot and see if uh, reboot and see if uh, our changes are uh, you know uh, restored after tiny linux code mission is rebooted Let's wait for it to reboot and start. Great. Here it is. So uh, my Tanico Linux is rebooted and it took the um, the IP address and all the details that I have mentioned on the script file. Thank you for watching.